Hi friends, I'm Wordy, your favorite dictionary. Today's wonderful word is ecosystem. The word ecosystem is made of two parts. Eco means home or environment. System means a group of things working together. So an ecosystem is like a neighborhood in nature where all living and non-living things work together as a team. An ecosystem is a place where animals, plants, sunlight, air, water, and dirt all share space and help each other. Let's learn two big science words. Biotic means living things like plants, animals, and bugs. Abiotic means non-living things. These are things like sunlight, water, rocks, and air. Let's play a quick game. I'll name something and you shout out if it's biotic or abiotic. You ready? The sun. That's correct. The sun is abiotic. It means that it's non-living. A snake. Biotic. Correct. A snake is biotic. It's living. What about a rock? Abiotic. A rock is non-biotic. That's true. Whether they're living or non-living, these things are part of an ecosystem. Each ecosystem is different. Some are cold and snowy, others are hot and dry. Weather and temperature changes. How plants grow, and how animals live. Sometimes animals have to move when seasons change. That's called migration. It means traveling to find food, warmth, or a place to live. One amazing example is the monarch butterfly. These little butterflies fly all the way from the forests of Mexico to northern North America, sometimes over 2,500 miles. That's a very long trip for such tiny wings. Ecosystems are important because every part, big or small, has a job. It's like a giant team where everyone helps each other. Bees help flowers by spreading pollen. Flowers help bees by giving them nectar. Worms dig through the soil to keep it healthy. Soil holds the root and feeds the trees. Trees give us clean air, fruits, and shade. And it goes on. But ecosystems can get hurt. One big problem is global warming. That means the Earth is getting hotter. This heat can melt ice, dry up rivers, and make it hard for animals and plants to survive. Some animals lose their homes or food. But there's good news. You can help by turning off your lights when you're not using them, recycling, planting trees, saving water, and learning more about nature. And scientists all over the world are working hard to protect the environment. Nature is strong. When we give it space and time, it grows back. Trees regrow, rivers refill, and animals return. When we care for nature, nature cares for us. Here are some interesting facts about ecosystems. The ocean is the biggest ecosystem on Earth. It can cover up to 70% of our planet. That's a lot of water. The 
jungle is full of tall trees and animals like monkeys, parrots, and jaguars. It's packed with life. In the desert, animals like camels and lizards survive with very little water. Some deserts don't get any rain for years. There are so many amazing places around the world, each with their own ecosystem. All right, it's quiz time. Ready? Question one. What does eco mean? A. Home B. Cloud That's true! Eco means a home. Question 2. What's an abiotic thing? A. The sun Or B. A frog That's correct! An abiotic thing is the sun. Question 3. What is migration? A. A type of weather. B. Animals moving to find better places to live. That's true! It's B. Animals moving to find a better place to live. You're an ecosystem expert now. Remember, an ecosystem is nature's team. When we protect nature, it stays strong and healthy, and we all win. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing words and wild wonders. Bye bye, explorers.